Hey there everyone, Kelly Noble Mirabella, and on behalf of ManyChat, I am here to show you how to set up a Facebook JSON ad inside of Ads Manager that will tie directly into a flow that you've built out in ManyChat. Now, you may already know this, but ManyChat has a native integrated Facebook ads tool that allows you to not have to worry about complicated JSON code or anything like that, and it basically sets up the same type of ad. But if you are an avid Facebook ads creator, you would probably also know that Ads Manager allows you a lot more flexibility and more robust choices when it comes to setting up your Facebook ads. So it could be your preference on how you set up your ads. And if that's the case, this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in to how you create a JSON ad that goes directly into a custom flow that you build out inside of ManyChat. Let's go. In Ads Manager, the first step is selecting your objective. In this case, we're doing a JSON ad, which is a messages objective. So that's the one we want. And you're going to name your campaign and continue. Then we're going to select the message destination. For this particular ad, we are going to go with click to messenger. They also have sponsored messages in here, but that is a different type of ad. So again, click to messenger. Next, we want to select the audience in which we want to show this ad to. You have several options here. You can create a new audience by building it out down here, or you can use a previously created custom or lookalike audience or saved audience. We're gonna go ahead and create a new audience. We're gonna go with people inside the United States between the ages of 18 and 45, both genders, open languages. We're going to go after people who are interested in fitness and wellness. And then we are going to move down to placement. In terms of placement, this is where your ad will show up. If you choose automatic placement, that means it's going to show up on any of the Facebook properties that Facebook sees that ad being eligible for, including Instagram. My suggestion is actually to do edit placement and take Instagram out and anything else that doesn't make sense for you. And that's only because Instagram works so differently and the audience acts differently that if you want to run an ad, it could be the same exact ad, but you might change it just slightly so that it is better suited for that specific platform. In this case, we're going after Facebook people. So we're gonna go ahead and take out Instagram. Once you're happy with the placement, we're gonna scroll down to your budget, select your budget, and we are going to click continue. Now you wanna create your ad. You could do that off of a new ad that you would like to create or use an existing post. In this case, we're gonna create new ad creative. You could do a carousel or a single image or video. In this case, we're going with a single image. Upload your image, or you can browse the library or use free stock. In this case, I'm going to use an existing image. Now you can preview what your ad is starting to look like over here on the side, and you can start filling out your ad content. And pick your call to action. In this case, we're gonna go with send message. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your flow inside of ManyChat with your ad inside of Ads Manager. What you wanna do is create your own welcome experience and we are gonna go with custom template and get started. You're gonna go up here where it says JSON. Now all of this code here is actually going to be replaced, but first we have to head over to ManyChat and build out the flow that we want to use in terms of this ad. In the dashboard, go to growth tools. Under widgets, create a new growth tool. Scroll down to where it says Facebook ads JSON. Go ahead and proceed with the JSON growth tool in this case. This is where you're going to set up your actual message that people will receive when they click on your ad. So your opt-in message, you can replace with an existing message or you can edit. Put a short message here to make sure that people understand what they're opting in for. They will click on this message and then that's going to take them out to where they're going to receive their actual guide or whatever you're giving away. So in this case, we're gonna connect it to another flow, which is our fitness plan delivery and select this flow. 
Now we're ready to go. I'm gonna click publish. Now that we have the message set up, we're gonna go up here where it says growth tool number 11, and that's gonna take us back out to where we're building out our growth tool. I'm gonna click on next. And right there is all of the JSON code that we're going to need to copy and paste over. So click on copy code to clipboard, and let's head back over to the ads manager. Now that we're back over at the ads manager, you're going to take all of this code and highlight it and then delete it. Now that you have nothing left in the box, you're going to paste your new code in there. And there it is. Ads Manager is not going to let you preview this code. So we're just going to have to click Confirm. Now there is our campaign, the messages. It's in review. Once it goes live, it will be active in the newsfeed and we will start being able to capture those leads.